In this lesson on educator.com, lessons on HTML 5.0, we're going to be discussing the form tag in itself. Up until now, we've been discussing everything about a form, such as its input and the select tags, but we haven't really discussed the form tag in itself and the different elements involved. Basically, the input tabs and the select and the text area tags, all of that pretty much guides the user to enter whatever necessary information that we're looking for. The form tag in itself, t once submitted, tells the browser or the, the server what to do with that information. Okay, so we're going to talk about the relationship with the front end and back end and how that form tag plays that, with that relationship. And obviously, we're going to talk about the different uh, elements and attributes involved in a form tag. So before we go on, let me explain to you in a well, let me do a little illustration over here on what a form tag is. As explained before, maybe you'll have a name tag, okay, or a name field, and you have a field over here. You want to collect email information, and you have a text field over here. And let's just say phone. Okay, and then you've got the submit button over here. Let's just go ahead and add submit. All right. The when you enter your information here, once you press a submit button, it's got to do something. It's got to go to a database, or it's got to come right back at you, or something has to happen. That something is done by the form element, which is this hidden field okay, surrounding all these elements. This is the form element. Okay. And then at the end, it has the ending of the form element. And to go over, this is input uh, type equals text. Okay, and that's, and of course, it's the button field. So, again, once you submit, it's got to go someplace.